So this is a lifetime first for me. A wreck here in about 80 foot of water and there's a monster sawfish on it. Like, I don't know, he's gotta be like 10 or 12 feet long. Check this out. How sick was that? Ooh. That's a first for me. I've never seen one of those. Sawfish. That thing had to be like 12 foot long. That's the second time I've seen them here. No kidding. The last time there was two Ooh. of them laying together with Kobe on them. Really? That's awesome. Ooh. Sawfish, Florida. Man, that's a, a, such a cool thing right there. This is definitely one of the coolest things I've ever seen in diving. And I've been diving more than 30 years, and this is the first chance I've ever gotten to see a small tooth sawfish. Uh, that being said, in Florida, there's, there's not a lot of sightings. So FWC actually has a reporting um, system that you can call in or you can send them an email at sawfish at myfwc.com and basically just tell them where you saw it, um, what, what was the date, what was the time, the location, and you can tell a general location. You don't have to tell the exact GPS numbers, the estimated length of each sawfish, the water depth, and any other relevant details. These things are so rare. Any information about these things helps, and I know that many more have been seen than have actually been reported, so please go and report this. It makes a big difference for information on these guys. Report sawfish sightings for science. This is what I was talking about from the MyFWC website um, on reporting the small tooth sawfish. And I'm just going to read it out for you. Small tooth sawfish are unique fish that have long hedge trimmer like saw extending out from their heads. Although they swim like sharks, they're more closely related to stingrays because they have gill slits under their bodies rather than on the sides of their bodies. Sawfish are born at about two feet long and can grow up to 17 feet. Wow, that's crazy. Historically, sawfish were a common sight off Florida's coastline. However, they've become less common during the last century because they were unintentionally overfished. Their long saws, referred to scientifically as rostrums or rostra, were easily entangled in any kind of fishing gear. Sawfish rostrums have also been popular trophy items. Since these fish produce few young, it has been a challenge for their population to recover after being depleted. As a result, sawfish have been protected in Florida since 1992 and the small tooth sawfish is currently listed as endangered under the United States Endangered Species Act. They should be released unharmed if accidentally caught while fishing for other species. It is important to note that sawfish rostrums should never be removed. Very little is known about the spectacular fish, so scientists at the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission's Fish and Wildlife Research Institute initiated a research program to learn more. They're asking for help from the public via the sawfish survey. The statewide survey provides a means for anglers, boaters, and beachgoers to help biologists learn more about the areas in which sawfish are sighted. 
If you catch a sawfish while fishing for other species or happen to see one while you're on or near the water, please contact us. <laughs> Sorry. To report a sawfish sighting, email sawfish at myfwc.com or call 1-8-444-SAWFISH. To file a report of a sawfish sighting or encounter, please include the date and time of the encounter, the location, the estimated length of each sawfish, the water depth, and any other relevant details. Since we've talked about this and I've, since I posted the video here a couple days ago, we've had almost a dozen people uh, send messages to my FWC as well reporting more sightings of these. Um, so anytime you can report, please do and uh, write a message on this YouTube video as well so more people um, will be inspired to do the same.